Hey guys, Ashley here. On a previous video, I asked y'all if you wanted to see my NCLEX study plan and y'all said yes, so that's what we're gonna do today. I wanna show you how I plan to study for the NCLEX. So I don't know if this study plan's gonna work or not. I mean, I sure hope it does, but I guess we'll find out. So um, obviously you guys are gonna know if I pass the NCLEX because I'm gonna share my excitement, but I think you're gonna know if I don't pass the NCLEX as well because I'll probably crawl into a hole and you guys are gonna be like, where the heck did Ashley go? And then, oh didn't pass her NCLEX so now she's like MIA. <laughs> Y'all just thinking about the NCLEX truly freaks me out but I'm gonna get through this and so are you one way or another. We've worked our butts off for years now to get to this place and we are most definitely going to pass this NCLEX. So let's go ahead and dive into my study plan. So the first thing that I did was printed out the NCLEX test plan. I have it here and if you guys want to get the test plan you can get on Google and just search NCLEX 2020 test plan and it'll come up and you guys can print it out for yourself. The next thing I did was wrote down a list of study resources that I have available to me that I can use to start studying for the NCLEX. Now I evaluated each study resource that I have and I only chose two of them and I done that because what I've learned over the last couple of years is when I have a ton of different study options I just get overwhelmed and I'm not studying effectively versus if I study with just a couple of materials, I actually do better on the exams. So I'm only gonna use two as my main study materials and then the rest of the resources that I have are gonna be supplemental. Now I'm not saying not to utilize all of the resources that you have, I'm just saying it's not a good idea to overwhelm ourselves with different study options. So how did I choose which resources to use? Well, I chose the NCLEX review book because it's based off the NCLEX test plan. So like I said, I have the test plan and it actually lines up great with this book. So I know it's gonna be extremely helpful. Now the next resource I chose to use is called Hearst Review. And I think this is gonna be the most valuable content that I have. Now Hearst is not a sponsor of this video. I'm just telling you guys my test plan and what I use to study and everything that I mentioned um, aside from the NCLEX book, because you guys probably have that already, but everything else that I mentioned, I will link down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Now, the thing that drawed me to Hearst is that they have videos covering major topics. So they have your core content videos, which has um, like fluid and electrolytes. They have specialty videos, as you can see here. But they also have a workbook that follows along with their videos. And you fill in the blanks. That's been the story of my life for the last three semesters of nursing school. One of our instructors, all of her notes are like fill in the blank notes. Oh my gosh. So this actually feels very, very familiar to me. Now they also have different resource documents for medications, infection control, management of care. They've got pediatrics on there. They have resources for your ABGs, etc. Practice questions are obviously a must and we need to be doing as many practice questions as we possibly can. And I like Hearst because you can generate questions randomly or you can do it based on the content areas that you've been studying. So for example, let's say I was studying uh, fluid and electrolytes. Well, I can generate an exam based on that or practice questions based on that. And then they also have an NCLEX style simulator. So basically it's like a practice exam for the NCLEX, like a big practice exam. Now this is not recommended to do right at first. You wanna wait until you've done all your studies, gotten through the workbook, done all the videos, and really, really studied, and then take this exam because it's gonna help give you a percentage of like, are you likely to pass? Or hey, do you need to study some more? And here's your areas that you was kind of struggling with and that kind of thing, so. So Hearst has a demo as well if you guys wanna go check it out. I will link their website down below in the description box. And I think for the demo, you just have to sign up for a free trial and it'll let you access some of the information, you're not gonna get all of it, but you will be able to see if it's something that interests you or not. Now, onto some of the other study resources that I have, but I won't be utilizing as much, but they are, again, they're here if I need them. One of those is called Lippincott, which I've heard from nurses that it's nothing like the NCLEX, but we had to have it for school, so it's there for practice if I need it. There's also Evolve, and I actually love Evolve, and I actually learned a lot from their questions over the last couple of years of taking them, practicing for exams, and that kind of thing. They also have a question bank for the NCLEX review book that has a lot of questions on it, and you can break it down into categories that line up with the book and the test plan, so that's extremely helpful to have. And like you, I have all of the notes and lectures over the last two years, but honestly, it's a lot, and I'm probably not gonna use it unless I have to, 
just because it's so much information. But the books I have may come in handy and I may use those. It's great for practicing math, looking up medications, looking up different information, and then also the maternity book was really nice too. I don't know about you guys, but we only had maternity for half of a semester, and so it felt like so much information was thrown at us in just a short period of time. So I know I definitely need to recap on all of that, and I will probably be using this book to help me with that some. But again, the main information, the main study materials are going to be Hearst and the NCLEX review book. So that's my study plan. It is to follow the Hearst study plan that they provided. It's to use the NCLEX review book along with that, and it's to answer questions every single day. Now, my goal is to get through all of this in the month of May, and then hopefully be able to take the NCLEX sometime in June. Obviously, I don't know if that's going to happen yet. I don't have a date set. I did get signed up with everything, but I'm just waiting for like an APP key or an ATT key. I don't know. It's some kind of fun lingo like that, but I'm waiting for that key to then be able to actually schedule the exam. So my plan is to get through this in May and then have the first, hopefully first couple of weeks of June to really focus on content that I struggle with, to really review things, practice meds. Um, practice math, that kind of thing. So tell me in the comments what you are using to study for the NCLEX. And as always, y'all, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Now go get to studying because we're about to become nurses. Okay, that's enough. I'll see you guys in the next video, but only after you've studied.